This past summer, APHIS Plant Protection and Quarantine worked with state and local officials, other federal agencies, and private ranchers to control grasshopper populations in the western United States. Grasshopper outbreaks in areas of the west reached severe levels. Some areas reported populations of 60 or even 100 grasshoppers per square yard. Based on survey data from last year, the program had anticipated this year's heavy hatch of grasshoppers. APHIS' role in combating grasshoppers is to control significant emerging populations on U.S. rangelands. These efforts help reduce the extreme damage that large outbreaks can cause to rangeland vegetation and to crops in the fields of neighboring producers. Control efforts depend largely on the judicious application of an insecticide. The insecticide most often used is diflubenzeron, which is an insect growth regulator. In some cases, either carbaryl or malathion may be used instead. Using contractors, PPQ personnel direct aerial applications from both airplanes and helicopters. Aircraft are the most economic way to treat large outbreaks and to reach the remote and often rugged terrain in the western United States. PPQ technicians also conduct treatments using all-terrain vehicles, or ATVs, specially outfitted with tanks and low-volume sprayers. To battle grasshoppers during the 2010 season, PPQ teams treated more than approximately 1.2 million acres, primarily by air. Post-treatment surveys for 2010 illustrate the program's positive effect for ranchers. On this map of Johnson County, Wyoming, the red dots show the persistently higher grasshopper populations just outside of treatment areas. Their numbers contrast clearly with the managed populations, shown here as gray dots, within treated areas. PPQ's efforts prompted one rancher to comment that the program not only assisted by eliminating grasshoppers in our grazing pasture, but allowed us to be profitable in our grass crop. Altogether, the program's efforts protected rangeland forage on nearly 2.5 million acres. Whether working by land or by air, the program was certain to conduct its activities carefully to make sure its efforts are effective, environmentally sound, and safe. PPQ personnel prepare and actively monitor insecticide mixing, matching the proper mix for conditions and the method of application. Samples from each tank are collected, saved, and later tested to doubly ensure that the program's applications comply with the EPA labeling requirements. PPQ personnel precisely map and record flight paths, factoring in, among other things, terrain features, environmentally sensitive areas, and wind speed and direction. The aircraft and ATVs used for applications are outfitted with GPS-driven devices. These devices both guide and record the paths covered. The results are highly targeted treatments that maximize effect and minimize the amount of insecticide applied. When mapping treatment areas, PPQ closely observes and monitors sensitive sites to avoid. These sites include natural water resources such as springs, ponds, streams, and also permanent watering stations for livestock. By posting die cards in sensitive areas, program personnel can monitor for drift from aerial activities. The cards are designed to indicate if problems occur outside of targeted areas. Even after a long day of area treatments, the program's work is not done. Using brushes and vacuums, PPQ personnel thoroughly clean ATV equipment to reduce the risk of moving invasive plant seeds and material to other areas. And of course, Personnel continue to gather survey information and monitor sites post-treatment to ensure that applications are having the desired effect on grasshopper populations. In 2010, PPQ employees intensified their grasshopper suppression efforts to match pace with the severe outbreaks in areas of the western United States. While survey indicators for next year are still preliminary, PPQ was prepared to respond should grasshopper outbreaks occur in 2011.